welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a DIY and in this video I'm going to show you guys some really easy and super cute desk DIY decor for back to school and I have some of it just like sitting back there which it's going to be really hard to see but you guys will see how to make it in a second. This video is also a collaboration with Courtney Lundquist here on YouTube and you definitely have to go check out her channel because she has amazing videos. She has beauty videos, DIY videos, fashion, all that good stuff so make sure you subscribe to her channel and if you're here from her channel then hello please make sure you subscribe to my channel too before you you go to keep up with all of my future uploads. In my DIY video I will show you how to make a really pretty cork board frame with some gemstone looking push pins as well as a really pretty marble desk tray. Everything pretty much I got from the dollar store except for the spray paint bottles and the contact paper that I use in the tray but it's also like super affordable anyways and I will leave links to everything in the description box if I need to show you guys where I got some of these supplies but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the cork board frame DIY, and of course you will need some cork tiles, which I got from the dollar store, a frame of your choice, which is also from the dollar store, and all this other stuff, some little mini clothespins, a string, and some flowers of your choice, and then scissors, or an X-Acto knife, and a glue gun. So first I'm just going to take out all of the backing parts of the frame and the glass, and then I'm going to use the little piece of paper that was inside as a guide just to see what size I need to cut the cork board to, and then I just cut it out with an X-Acto knife because it was a lot easier than the scissors. Next, I'm just going to measure how long I want my string to be because this is what is going to have the clothespins on it. Just in case you don't want to put a hole in anything else, this is just an idea so that you can still display it without actually like ruining whatever it is by poking it. So I'm just gluing it with the hot glue gun to secure it and I'm not making it too tight because I still want to be able to get the little clothespins on. And that's all you have to do for that part. So then I'm just going to go ahead and put it back into the frame and then put the backing back on. This part is definitely optional, but I thought that it would be cute to add a little bit of extra cuteness to the corkboard frame. So I decided to pull off the little tops of flowers that I got from the dollar store and I cut off the little nubs so that I was able to actually glue them onto it. But I thought it added a really cute touch and just made it a little bit more interesting. And now I'm going to show you how to make these really cute gold and white gem push pins. And all you need are some stick on like gem, I don't even know what they're called, and some thumbtacks, and then also some spray paint in the color of your choice. I just wanted white and gold, so I did like, I think two coats of each colors on them, and then I just let them dry, and all I did was take out some little thumbtacks and hot glue them onto it. So they look like little gems. I don't know, there might be a different word for them, but that's the only one that I can think of, so let me know in the comments if I'm like totally calling it the wrong thing, but that's all I can think of. <laughs> My next DIY is to make this really cute marble desk tray and all I did was start it out with this wooden tray that I got from the dollar store and some marble contact paper I had ordered from Amazon a while back and then the same white spray paint. So I painted I think three coats of this spray paint on the wood. Just make sure that you get like everything covered and then I took out my contact paper which is basically just like giant sticker paper and I just traced along the outside of the box to give myself a guideline and then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. And this is just gonna make it easier for getting the smaller pieces to go inside. And because it's from the dollar store, all of the little slots on the inside weren't even, so this is the only way that I could really get an accurate measurement. So I kind of just felt where like the little dividers were and I made a little slit on each side and then just connected them so that I had like a general idea of how big I should have the like rectangle things to go inside and of course they're going to be too big so what I did was just push them into the slots and made sure that they were all the way down in the corners and everything and then I just trimmed off the excess using an exacto knife so that I could get like a general idea of how big it was on the inside then I just made all of the lines perfectly straight when I took it out 
and then took off the backing and stuck it inside. And that's literally all I did for all of them. I'm sure you don't have to see every single one, but that is how I got this super cute marble desk tray. And in case you're curious, that little Kiwi notepad along with some of the other things that were in the desk tray are actually from banga.com, which I will leave in the description box for you guys. And my very last DIY, super easy, and it is these washi tape paperclip bookmarks. All you need to do is clip off like about an inch or so of whatever washi tape you want and just kind of overlap it through the end of a paperclip and stick it to itself and then you just have to trim off the top. So you can trim it off like this, like diagonally, or you can also do like this little triangle in here and I think this is the cutest one. I actually kind of wish I did all of them like that, but you can kind of just switch it up and do different ways with different washi tape and it is such an easy DIY and they're super cute, especially for your books for back to school. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed these DIY projects and let me know in the comments which one was your favorite from this video. I think they were all super cute and they were actually like really, really easy to make. So if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by clicking that subscribe button below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!